so Ramadan is the ninth month of our of the Islamic calendar, and we fast to. It's one of the pillars of Islam, which means that it's one of the five commandments by Allah, uh, which we must obey and do. And we fast to get closer to Allah, to emphasize with the poor, and just self uh, purify, like. That. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's like usually 29 to 30 days, depending on the moon sighting and the lunar calendar, uh, which is what we follow. And um, Ramadan in general is just like a period of time where you strengthen your connection with God and you also just like have reflection within yourself. Um, fasting can tire you out. Obviously, uh -huh. you're not drinking water or eating anything from sunrise to sunset. So, like, going through your school day, having to, like, do all your homework, pay attention in class, and usually a lot of people get less sleep during Ramadan mm -hmm. than they usually do. Um, it can be, you know, like, it obviously affects sometimes your participation in class and um, just the amount of work that you can do in yeah. a day. So... Just adding on to what Asma said, I think sleep can be a little challenging sometimes because usually I pray, I come home around like 11, yeah. 12, and then I wake up like before sunrise to eat, and then I have to wake up for school around like 6, 30, 7, yeah. so it can be a little challenging at times. Fasting just really makes you appreciate yeah. what you've already, like what you have and what you take for granted. Like, you know, we eat so much in a day, we don't even realize like we're constantly like snacking or something, and just having to fast and like stay away from that it really makes you appreciate that like oh I have all of this food and like you know other people they don't have mm -hmm. as or they're not as fortunate as we are so it like really helps like Waleed said before empathize with yeah. the poor mm -hmm. which is actually one of the main reasons we fast yeah. Ramadan too yeah I'm glad you brought the empathy piece up because yeah. as someone who just observes people observing Ramadan <laughs> um, my big takeaway every year is just like the incredible discipline and like strength that our Muslim families have during this time um, I've tried to do it and like I pride myself on being a pretty you know mentally tough person and there's no way um, I can make it through I mean I've made it two weeks that was the longest I ever made it and then, like, my caffeine headaches get so bad yeah. <laughs> that, that I just, yeah. uh, you know. Um, so every year I'm just so impressed with, like, the dis It's so many of our Muslim families and students that really stick to it and the discipline and strength it takes to do that. Yeah. I just am always impressed with. Yeah, I definitely, the empathy part is really something I try and keep in mind. I feel like it's natural with all humans wanting more in something. And then times like fasting will make me realize, like, there are kids who really, even at iftar time, can't really eat food. So. To try and that empathy, what we're going to do on Friday, April 14th, we're going to do, it's the first time our school has ever done this. We're going to encourage people to participate in something called Rama Day. Experienced one day of fasting, like the 29 to 30 days that our Muslim families and students do who observe Ramadan. There's going to be flyers with a QR code that you can actually use to sign up for Rama Day. And why you would want to sign up is because... Uh, to celebrate making it through that one day, to, to feel what it feels like for just that one day. Uh, we're going to have an interfaith iftar, which is a breaking of the fast at Niles West, where everybody who signs up, regardless of what their religious faith is, can come break the fast and just celebrate uh, being able to participate in something that's incredibly important to not just our Muslim students, but our Muslim community as a whole.